Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video and a brand new installment in the OP character universe of Kenshi. We're getting very close to actually forming the team that I talked about and uh, wreaking havoc in the world of Kenshi with today's character, Fast Fingers Fred. <laughs> so yeah, we're out here in the hub. I swear that this is where every criminal starts. Fast Fingers Fred is almost at rock bottom. He just got released from prison. They brought him and threw him here in the hub to rot. He has no money to his name. Look, if you're a broke boy, just say so. He is uh, currently starving, and we need to do something about that fast. But where a simple Kenshi citizen sees a dead end, Fast Fingers Fred sees an opportunity, and we are about to rise and take up the challenge and become an OP ninja. So the plan is pretty simple, yet full of risks. We are basically going to be gathering some money first, joining the Shinobi Thieves to grind our assassination and our uh, thievery skill, as well is sneaking and then we're just going to unleash our skills upon the world to get them even higher and become even broken as a ninja type character i'm gonna show you a lot of exploits that have to do with thievery and assassination and sneaking and stuff like that in this episode but in due time first of all we're going to execute the first part of the plan which is to get money and the gear and of course you know that all my characters have never worked an honest day in their lives so what <laughs> we're going to do is we're going to take someone else's shit and and uh, repurpose it. And the mark is right behind me. Meet Biggie, a drifter with a 30,000 bounty on his head and crazy warhammer weapon a nice backpack and a dumb truck of a cake we're going to be starting a fight with biggie believe it or not despite being a very talented fighter can never land a hit on us if we know how to play it his weapon is just so slow and so heavy that i don't think he can ever land a single hit on me and i'll show you why yeah what are you looking at you who are you me i'm fucking biggie i've killed more men than you've probably seen I've been across Shecklands, stolen the best sake from Empire Lords, and killed paladins whose names won't be remembered. And you're about to be outplayed by a starving guy with no stats. I smoke a lot of hash too, oh shit. Now what the fuck do you want? Your bounty? Now you fucked up. Even though he can probably outrun me, yeah he definitely can, he'll never land a hit on me because look at this, by the time he charges up his attack, I'm already gone. <laughs> So if we just lure him into some bandits and get them to do the hard work for us, we're probably gonna be golden, alright? One thing though, if you're going to be attempting this, be really careful that Biggie doesn't like land a shot on you, because if he does, he will absolutely one-shot your character. We could also get some gear, so basic- Oh shit! That's what I meant! That's my left arm gone! But before we find out if Fast Fingers Fred is going to survive his dumbass plan, a quick word from today's sponsor, Life is Feudal MMO. Life is Feudal MMO is an MMORPG game set in a realistic medieval open world. Life is Feudal offers the player complete freedom with its vast open world where a player's achievements and choices aren't limited by anything. You can create your own story by exploring the world as a lone wolf or with other players, establishing your presence and setting up your own goals. The game offers a high level of realism with its hardcore survival mechanics, as well as its in-depth crafting and combat systems. You experience the impact of different weather conditions due to weather mechanics and seasons. You also must manage your hunger and thirst and keep yourself healthy and stave off diseases, as well as develop your skills to be able to craft high-end weapons and armor. All of this applies to the various aspects of the game, from mining to farming to construction and more. All of this in a harsh and unforgiving world where there are almost no PvP restrictions save for a few green zones. You must fight to keep what is yours with a skill-based combat system. And the good news is, it it is the ultimate fair and hardcore gaming experience due to the absence of any additional monetization mechanics, paid boosters, premium store, or even skins. Every player has the same fighting chance and it is your skill that will carry you through both PvP and PvE in your quest for survival. So make sure to give Life is Feudal MMO a try by clicking the link in the description below and join the fight for survival in this hardcore medieval survival MMO. Thank you Life is Feudal for sponsoring this video. That's my left arm gone. Starving bandits right there. Those guys, probably not enough to take him down, but they will do some damage. So let's make our way towards them. Okay, they see me, I think. So let's just try and put Biggie between ourselves and them. And have them aggro on him. They're landing some shots on Biggie. I just need to outkite these guys, okay? How's he doing? He's still alright. I'm pretty sure he might be able to actually take them. 
Are you guys getting too cowardly to fight him? Come on, man. Biggie must have a lot of good food. I swear that this is the essence of Kenshi. <laughs> What's happening right now on your screen if you've never played Kenshi or heard of this game? This is exactly what this game is all about. Okay, he's almost down. Wow. The starving bandits actually almost got him. They actually took him down. Fuck, I'm suiciding for this. Uh, boom, boom, boom. And now I, I don't mind going down. Actually, I do mind. So if I just drop this and that and just make a run for the gates, the whole nation will actually save me, right? Please, my Okrun brothers, help. I keep pretending to like stop to fight and that way they stand to like land a hit on me. But by the time they do, I'm already gone from the spot where I was. Where are all the Okrunites? Oh my God, is this the bug where the, the entire city is? Oh my God, this is the worst time for Kenshi to bug out and give me this exact bug, man. Dude, like actually. Wow, dude, what the hell have you seen that kiting, man? Legendary kiting ability right there. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna actually pick up that hammer and go down fighting. Screw it. Oh no, my arm's broken. I can't fight like that. Okay, just attack all. Fight it out, man. Alright, and now they'll just leave me alone. And if I just sneak and heal myself while playing dead, I think I'll be fine. I think Bo himself is doing the same thing. Yeah, he is. <laughs> Let me pick up the backpack, and I think I can also just pick up Bo while he's playing dead. Can't carry anyone with this arm. Come on, man. <sighs> okay, we'll just take our win, cut their losses, and let's get out of here. I'm gonna need some food. So, you know what? I'm gonna go back to the abandoned city, and I'll just pick up some food, like whatever's inside, like the shops. Let's see. But yeah, this is a bug that happens every now and then in Kenshi. <laughs> it almost got me killed this time. <laughs> it's basically, sometimes the cities render, but no NPCs actually render in. So you end up with these abandoned cities. You know what? Since it happened, and I got through it, I'll take advantage of it. Why the hell not? feel like I deserve it. We're gonna roleplay this as if it's like prayer day or some shit. So they're gone right now. So I got in as a true thief stole some food and i got out holy nation yeah now you guys show up after i got my ass beat they're back from the prayer day i suppose <laughs> all right then i'll fast forward until i'm back at the hub or the next part of our plan all right 18k for the great mall and then we're just gonna sell all the hash that we have for 172 you can sell it for more in, in other places but i can't be bothered right now and now we're gonna start working on enhancing, mainly sneaking and assassination. So let's see if this guy sells anything that boosts it. Stealth effect, that's good for stealth. Looks pretty fire, not gonna lie. That tank top as well gives me some stealth. This also enhances my stealth, so I'll replace the jacket that I have with it. And this actually ruins my stealth, so get rid of it. We're going barefoot. Yo, feet picks. Let's get out, and I'll tell you about the first exploit. Basically, the way you train sneaking is just sneak. Sneak around people. Uh, the exploit is that if you do it around enemy characters, it's substantially better. It, it, it just like rockets by. Now, I don't feel like going out and looking for some bandits or something like that. So I'm just going to stealth around the hub like pretty much all night long. And as you can see, I'm at seven right now. If I just fast forward, you'll start seeing eight nine yeah by the way i do have a mod that doubles the rate at which all skills are acquired just because you know i don't like the grind at the very high levels but in essence it's still the same thing i think around 30 you start moving a lot faster while sneaking Oh no, it's the day already. We're going to go and join the shinobi thieves and we're going to work on our assassination right now. So the reason why we did pretty much all of that stuff in the early game is that we basically want to get the 10,000 to join. Sign me up. And now we have very valuable allies in pretty much every city in the game. But the reason why we joined the shinobi thieves is that there's another exploit for training assassination. Now, first of all, we're going to need to get the first few levels by training on a dummy up until skill level 14. And once we do that, believe it or not, that 10,000 that you just paid these guys is apparently enough for them to let you like train on them, like actually try and knock them out and they will not mind. So let's get our uh, assassination up to level 14. And then I'm going to start like practicing on all the allies that we have in the Shinobi Thieves. So let's do that. <laughs>
All right, I'm at assassination 13. I think that's enough, honestly. I won't bother with getting it up to 14. I'll just train lock picking and then I'll train some attacks just to burn time because we want to operate during the night. That's when we want to really up our skills. All right, I got my melee attack at nine, melee defense at 10 from the fight that we had earlier, stealth at 20, assassination at 13, lock picking at eight, athletics at 36. This is a solid foundation to create an OP ninja and I'll show you how. Let me see if I can get some more gear okay the assassin rags are insane gives me stealth gives me assassination skill of, oh my god times 1.3 plus 8 melee attack bonus that's insane we are definitely copying that we'll get the oni mask that'll give us some fighting at least and a lot of athletics i mean we look pretty good already that's pretty cool a weapon would be nice but we're not paying for a weapon we'll definitely find something cool out there would you look at that that's needles right there and she has a really nice dagger now if i try to knock her out right now it's at zero percent but believe me when i tell you that by the end of the night she's gonna be out cold <laughs> once it's dark enough i'll just go around knocking people out and practicing my assassination okay Okay, it's as dark as it's gonna get. We'll just go around the alleyways and look for like easy targets. A 60% chance. Here goes nothing. Okay, did not work. Let's get some value out of that 10,000 cats that we invested earlier. Imagine actually following a shinobi thief through back alleyways. <laughs> Me and the gang. Okay, let's fuck him up. <laughs> you have no right to self-defense, my guy. Get out of here. All right, give me that. Oh my god. Nice shirt. What the hell? This vagrant had some cash on him, man. All right, you guys take care of him. I'll go back to training my assassination. <laughs> Hide by the toilet. Wait for him to pass by. Oh, it didn't work. Needles actually saw that. That's a holy nation outlaw. All right, I might have just started a war. Who are you? Mercenary guild? <laughs> All right, let's see it. She's getting with the pickaxe. Come on, Fred. You got this, man. It's just some goddamn miner. <laughs> Imagine being a hardworking miner. You just clocked out of work. You finished your long ass shift of breaking rocks. And this happens to you. A 50% chance. I'll take it. That's as good as it gets, honestly. Who is he? A drifter? Okay, no one cares about drifters, so. Boom. Didn't work. He didn't notice. Let's try it again. Didn't work again. He didn't notice. Do it again. Didn't work. Come on. My god, dude. How can someone calculate the chances that that many 50% in a row doesn't work? Okay, maybe this person. Another mercenary guild loser. Oh, there we go, baby. And that's assassination 18. Very nice. Right in front of another mercenary guild person. Let's try it. Let's try it. 46%. I like those chances. Oh my god, it worked. <laughs> Give me that lunch money, man. Another drifter. Go. 99%. All right, we're getting there, boys. Now we're cooking, boys. A 100% chance, another drifter. Now we're cooking, boys. I'm on 35 assassination now. Yo. Okay, now I think I can start like knocking out my own friends. And I suffer no consequences if I try to knock them out and it doesn't work. I go at him from the behind. From behind. Worked. And I'm on 38. So 3%. And they won't even mind, man. 23% chance. Let's see if it works. My god. All right. No honor among thieves. <laughs> Give me back that 10,000 cats investment. <laughs> Let's go back out there. See where Needles is. She was laughing at me earlier for failing an assassination. That's her right there. Coming to the alleyway. Nothing bad's gonna happen. Boom. All right. Give me that dagger. There it is. <laughs> oh my god. Thank you. That weapon does 1.76 damage. Oh my god. Yeah, our stealth is getting insane. Like, we're standing in front of people and they won't even see us. I think what we're rocking with is so solid. I'm gonna go and put my skills to the test by doing something. Wait, is that... That's Biggie. He's back. Biggie's back. He safely made his way back here. Damn. Ain't no way, man.
But yeah, we're going to put our stats to the test. We're gonna go to a holy nation city and we're gonna see if we can cause as much chaos as possible, all right? Just for the fun of it and to test our skills, of course. So let's go take a look. Yo, Kip from the Dianium Thieves, a rival faction with a 2300 bounty on his head. That's an opportunity to test our skills. 100%, my favorite number. Boom. Sheesh. Oh my god, what a weapon. I'll take that, even if I'm just gonna sell it, man. And you know what? Just to humiliate the rivals a bit, no pants for you. See you later. We've entered the Ark in Kenshi, where we are just a menace on the road. Like, every person who is unlucky to have crossed our path is just gonna suffer a really, really bad fate. Oh my god, are these triangle bandits? Yeah, I didn't see them at all. Uh, Fred, <laughs> run. Now. They're still chasing. Run, Fred. Run, run, run. Alright, I'm pretty sure we're gonna outrun them. Hello, brothers. How are you doing? We're gonna sell all of this. My god, dude. I made so much money on this shit. This is what I'm mainly interested in. The police station. Divine blessings, brother. I can go in, right? Yeah, thank you very much. Let's go peep it out. See what's inside. <laughs> That's a high inquisitor right there. Oh my god. And there's the throne. Wait, the high phoenix is here, right? Holy lord phoenix. Are you thinking what I'm thinking, boys? <laughs> I'll come back soon, all right? I'm just gonna grab a seat until uh, I got the cover of the night. And then we're gonna be up to no good. Bro, you will not believe this. In the throne room, some woman got lost, got inside the throne room. And it was time for closing. So they closed off the door and they are all beating the fuck out of her. This is insane. All right, let's see what they actually do with her. Oh my god, she has no skills. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, dude. They destroyed her. As long as I don't move, you do not see me, alright? I'm gonna wait for them to go to sleep. Just like that. Okay. And then I'm gonna try to make my way to the Holy Phoenix. I don't know if it's gonna work though, but we'll see. Alright, they're all gone to sleep. This guy's gonna be a problem, so I'm gonna sneak behind him. Nothing personnel. Boom. Oh my god, someone got into the kitchen. Deal with this guy real quick as well. Okay, he went to sleep. Good. Stealth KO. Who's still up? Two people. Stealth KO this guy as well. Alright, I'm gonna have to sneak by these three then. Shit. Let's get over here first. If I just dart across and then get to the Holy Phoenix, it'll work. Just like that, just like a shadow. Okay, now if I just dart over there, get into the shadows, stop moving. If I try to steal from him straight up, he'll wake up for sure. So, I say I should probably kidnap him first. Alright, here goes nothing. Ooh, okay. Now, I can't just straight up kidnap him, man. That's too much, even for me. So, I'll just take a souvenir, okay? I'll take the money first. 74,000 gods? What the fuck? He just has it on him, just like that? Okay? I'll take the paladin's cross then. Okay, put him down. <sighs> I need to get out. I need to get out. Go! Wrap around. If I get out from the north, where am I gonna end up? That's around Rebirth. Oh, man. But I don't wanna go, like, through the city. If I go through the city, I'm dead, man. Just go towards Rebirth. Fucking run, homie. Run! Don't get shot. Do not look behind. <laughs> oh, brother. Alright, maybe I disappear here. Like a shadow in the night, he disappears. Okay, there's still- Okay, no, no, too soon to celebrate. There's a bounty of 2,500 on me. For theft, that's all, that's all you guys thought I did. <laughs> oh, I've got the Holy Lord Phoenix's weapon with me, man. I snuck right under his nose and took it. Damn. Alright, I'm gonna get to safety and I'll be back. Alright, here we are, the hub. Mission has been pulled off successfully. Everyone's at the hub, looking healthy, looking fresh. They do have a migraine though. I wouldn't know why. And just like that, Fred has officially proven that he is an OP ninja with that heist. He has the Holy Phoenix's weapon. So yeah, he has absolutely proved himself. Went from literally like a nobody, no stats, no nothing, into an absolute machine, a beast. 73 stealth, 75 assassination. He doesn't even need to fight anyone. Now what's next for Fast Fingers Fred? 
Well, he's going to travel south to the United Cities, looking for like the highest bidder for Holy Phoenix's cross. And he might come across some other characters that we've done in the past. And they might want to create a team of like-minded and OP characters. But that's gonna have to wait until the next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Uh, Fast Fingers Fred is turning out to be one of my favorite characters so far. What a daring and uh, mischievous uh, young man. So yeah, subscribe if you haven't. Uh, like and share. We oh my god, that's Piggy. As I was saying, subscribe if you haven't. Like the video so it can reach uh, more people. Comment down below. I answer pretty much any questions or any suggestions or stuff like that. Or I just meme out with people in the comment section. I'll see you guys in the next one. Lots of content coming soon. Much love. Bye-bye.